With a global pandemic, there's a lot of uncertainty these days. But one thing you can count on is plenty to see and hear at the annual Midville Field Day. A beneficial time for growers to hear from researchers and experts about the latest crop studies and a great place for producers to be able to compare what they have back home to the latest varieties. This field day gives opportunity for our scientists and research leaders to kind of highlight what they're doing. Uh, we have extension specialists here that are doing trials and a lot of these trials is what builds the recommendations that they give to the farmers. There also a lot of this is sponsored by commodity commissions, by Farm Bureau also. And it gives these oppor an opportunity for us to show the growers how we're Im impacting them and how, we're, how their research dollars are being spent. The field day also gives growers a chance to hear from experts about this year's crops. According to Scott Munford, Extension Peanut Agronomist, this year has been quite the challenge for peanut growers statewide. Being this wet, our yield potential is probably going to be down some, uh, but overall we're still going to make a pretty good crop. But the problem is that we see coming right now is disease. We had 30 inches of rain last three months. Growers, uh, if you're familiar with peanut, we usually put five to seven applications of fungicide starting at 30 days after planting. Guess what, we've had growers that hadn't been able to put maybe one shot on, and they're 80 to 90 days now. And so some of these peanuts hadn't had fungicide. We've had to put it on with airplane, but a lot of them are behind. And as for cotton, all of the rain has created quite the challenge for producers this year as well. But experts say the crop looks good. Growers just need some dry weather to be able to finish out the season. It's not often that we have excessive rainfall, but that's really challenged growers with uh, just management uh, uh, operations, uh, getting fertilizer applied timely in a timely manner. Uh, so we have had some challenges, but as a whole, uh, the crop looks, you know, pretty good. Uh, but we have a, a tremendous range from what I'd call very good potential to some areas, particularly low-lying areas where we've had this excessive rainfall that, you know, we actually need some sunshine and dry weather to, to get this crop on the right track. The main thing, just like with peanuts, is the potential for disease thanks to so much moisture, which is why producers need to be doing whatever they can between now and harvest to try and produce the best possible crop. Our plant pathologist, Dr. Bob Kimmerate, has you know, really been getting the word out about the risk for a lot of the diseases in cotton, such as target spot, uh, is there. So some growers are making fungicide applications when they can. Uh, but again, we're just trying to finish this crop off, uh, you know, just make sure you're scouting these fields. Uh, we need to be getting our pickers ready and, you know, hopefully we'll be defoliating cotton and, and picking a good crop soon. Reporting in Midville for the Farm Monitor, I'm John Holcomb.